Okay, so today we are talking about EDC packs. And you know, just kind of my take uh, on EDC packs. And these are all from Viper Aid. Well, at least most of them, some of them are not, but the majority here is from Viper Aid. Shout out to Viper Aid. I will link them down in the description. They do have a 15% discount code going on right now until the 27th. So if you want to get some EDC packs or pouches or anything like that, or bags, check out the link down in the description. Now, these are, what we're talking about today is kind of um, the essentials and, and small packs. So I personally like to carry individual packs that are packed for specific things. So like I'll have a medical pack, I'll have an electronics pack, you know, things like that. This is just, you know, a, a, an essentials pack. And I do that because I, I switch bags, right? So say if I'm carrying my big backpack, I obviously will have bigger gear, right? Well, say if I need a downgrade down to something like this, I wanna be able to, to take this without having to take individual pieces out of my bag, you know, from this bag to that bag and put it on here, just have the, the, the necessities or the things that you'll probably need the most inside the pack. And then you can just stuff it right in there and now you have it. And then, you know, you can take it out and use it when you need it. But it makes it to where you can, in some cases, especially with smaller packs, you might have to carry other stuff that you already planned on carrying or maybe the reason why you're carrying the bag. So to be able to just have a small pouch or something, you know, compact that you can just stuff in there, you know, on the go and maybe swap it to another one and you don't have to worry about picking and choosing little items because they're all in there. Now, so like, like I was saying, I try to keep things organized and separate. So like this is my electronics pouch for the small bag. I have a big one, a really big one. Now the big one has everything but bigger and a lot more. So, th and that's probably, to be honest, my most used pouch is my electronics pouch. So in the electronics pouch, the most important tool in this, in my opinion, is these two things. This meaning a battery pack, and then a multi-charger. So I keep big battery packs in my big bag. And you know, with my big backpack, I can actually plug it into the backpack so I can actually charge like while I'm on the go. Um, but having a multi-cord, a multi-head cord, meaning it will charge multiple different devices in, in di differently. So like, if you have three items, they all have different chargers, you'll have all the chargers with you. Now this is one area I say don't cheap out. Get a good one. The cheap ones wear out super fast. They suck. You'll, you'll have to replace it in a couple months. So just get a good quality one and it will last you a long time. You can take it out, you can wrap it, you know, because the problem is, is the cords wind up becoming frayed and messed up on the inside. So then they stop working. Now I have a bunch of those and um, I will link them down in the description because, you know, I, since I do, you know, use them so often, I do know which ones are good quality. I will link some of the ones I use down in the description. Um, I'll probably probably link my big one that's in my big pouch. Um, that one is awesome. Right now, Kara's using it because she just went on a little trip. So I had to, you know, give her an EDC pouch with essentials in there. Anyways, I got band-aids, you know, like I said, extra cords, headphones, um, a lighter, a little Ravivon flashlight. Now, I try to keep a little flashlight in every single pouch. And the reason why is because say if I need to get to my gear and it's in the dark, I, I can get to it. Another thing is a lighter, you guys already know, I don't need to explain why you'd carry a lighter, but you know, it's good to have. But the flashlight, you know, obviously you can use it for when you need a flashlight or like if you need to get into something in the pouch and it's dark. I got field notes, a glass breaker, titanium pen. Um, you can cheap out on the pen. You don't have to get a high quality pen like this. This is super expensive from Heretic. This is actually Kara's. I actually ganked it from her. It also has a Civivi Elementum button lock, the big one. I freaking love this knife and this is one reason why I love it. It's slim, easy to carry, lightweight. It fits just about anywhere. And you know, it's not taking up hardly any space, but you have a full size, very capable knife um, with a nice grind, great blade shape, and then a great handle shape for just about any situation, which I like. So, um, but yeah. It's the majority of the things I'm using in this would be the electronics. That's why I'd probably grab this pouch out, but it also has extras in there just in case. And like the, with the band-aids, I always carry a couple band-aids in, you know, 
in different pouches. Now this, this one's not technically from Viper Aid, but you know, they have pouches just like this. This one is a medical pouch. So basically I have four by fours. I have all different size band-aids, all different kinds of band-aids, um, sanitary wipes. I have a, a scalpel with replaceable blades. The replaceable blades are right here. I recently got this. I have a few different versions of this, not this exact one, but different kinds like this. These have blades in them that are individually packed, so they're sanitary. Um, then I have, oh yeah, and it also has a glass breaker on the back, by the way. Um, and then some tweezers. These are from Civivi. Just a nice little titanium tweezer. And uh, I, obviously a flashlight, you know, just in case if I need to be able to see. And, you know, yeah, it's super simple, but Band-Aids are something that, you know, because I, I've been caught with my pants down without, you know, any Band-Aids, and I've been cut and I've had to tear my shirt and wrap something up, it's nice to have, you know, like I said, essentials on you. Now, there, if you're, it's a big ass wound, yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to take care of it with some Band-Aids, but just for for the the, the wounds that are more probable, I guess you could say. Now, these little guys. Now, this guy's just like a basic like essentials type thing. This is something that, like I said, I'll just toss in a pouch, switch to a different bag. It has a flashlight, actually two flashlights, but it has an O-light in there. It has a nice little multi-tool. Shout out to, to Bones. Um, he actually just gave this to me. It is really, really cool, but you know, it comes with a couple little tools inside of it, plus a blade. Um, but then I also have a main blade, which this could switch out between, you know, like the um, the Hogue Deca, the Mini Griptilian, maybe the Civivi Cubit. Lightweight, easy to carry, compact, um, solid knife. It has an Olight pen. Now this has a laser and a flashlight on it. The flashlight's actually pretty bright. So, um, you know, you can use it for multiple different purposes. The next thing, um, I have a pack of Band-Aids. Like I said, I always try to keep, you know, some Band-Aids handy. I got a little pocket strap. And then I have, um, which you can get these on Etsy. Um, then I have, inside the big pouch, I try to keep this kind of free. Um, I do have a bit driver with some bits. Shout out to NAFs. Um, this is one of Ben's multi-tools. I have you know, a knife wipe. And then I will usually keep in every, like in basically every bag I have, like whether it's a little bag, a big bag, I will keep one or two fragrances. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, you always want to smell good, right? So I try to keep ones that are, are nice and fresh and easy to wear and are crowd pleasers. This one is Aqua de Gio. This is the blue bottle. This stuff's really, really good. Everybody will like this. It's just a fresh, clean scent. It's good for the office, good for the gym, you know, environments like that. Now, this one is just a little lipstick bottle that, uh, well, it's called a lipstick bottle, but because you twist it like that, but it's a fragrance and it's super compact. These are very affordable, very cheap. This one's uh, Phantom by Paco Rabanne, um, a sweet fragrance and, and you know it's really good, but I might not always want to put something like this on depending on the type of crowd I'm going to be in, um, You know, even though it'd be good in certain crowds, uh, but that's also you know why I carry it. But then they also have like little uh, small ones like this. These are from Alexandra. She, they have really good fragrances over there at Alexandria. The oils are really high quality for a very affordable price, but these are super, super cheap, like very, very cheap. So you can just toss one in something and then you always have a nice little fragrance. This is a little nitro roller. Now this one is an oil. So this one is um, more potent. It, it is very powerful. You just, you just roll it on and then dab it, you know, from one place to another, dab it on your neck. And uh, it, it's high High concentrated oils. Um, I personally love it, but again, this one's not going to be, this one's a crowd pleaser for sure, but it's not going to be something like this that is just as versatile as you can get and as simple as you can get, but it's you know, basically just a super fresh fragrance. This guy, this one's just an easy grab and go. You can grab it and put it in your own pocket. You can grab it and throw it in your pouch. You can grab it and switch it to your gym bag, whatever. It just has, it's a leather pouch. Um, I actually usually wear my, where the heck is it? Oh, I usually have this guy on there. Shout out to Bones. 
bad decisions make good stories. So it is leather and it you know, feels like decent quality, actually really good quality. I have a titanium tactile pen. Like I said, you don't have to go with an expensive pen. Um, I have, this is just a, a cheap brass slash copper flashlight. It's not super powerful, but, but you know, it's super simple, easy to carry, lightweight. Then I have the Leatherman Free on here. Now this is the knife, right? This is the knife and then it also, and it's a nice hollow ground sheep's foot blade. You can easily one hand open and close it, but then it also has these multi-tools or multi-tools. So you have, you know, a screwdriver and things like that, a pair of scissors over here. Um, it does have a clip. So it's USA made, but it keeps a lot in a little pouch. So like this is something I can easily just toss in a bag. Now, something like this, it's small. This is like basically a sling bag. Now, these are really good for when you're, you're gonna be going somewhere quick or, or you know, it's not something you know too crazy where you don't need to bring your big 30 pound backpack or anything like that. So what's awesome about this is you actually can unzip the front to get to everything right here. So, you know, if you did have a little pouch in there, you could easily grab it and, and pull it out really quick. Um, and you know, it has little pockets here. I actually have, oh, I have a lock right here. So this is just a lock. When I go to the gym, you know, I lock uh, my locker up. Anyways. Um, I usually carry, the one thing I don't have in any of these, and, and I normally would, is like some 550 paracord. Um, now, in this one, this is just super simple. It's pretty much empty. Um, I have an electronics cleaner um, for like phones and devices and stuff. You know, since I work on my phone, you know, I kind of have to make sure I do that. This is just, you know, another sling for, I think this one actually goes to this. I think, um, you know, to, I'm not gonna carry it like that, but you never know, this might come in handy. But I have a ton of tools all on one keychain. So, and then this is a Magpul. I recommend these big time. It's just, you know, you just, you can hook it to your keychain and it's a nice, super strong magnet. Now, the thing is, is most of the stuff on this is titanium. So magnets don't really stick to this thing too much. There is little parts, you know, like this is steel. There is some steel stuff, but a lot of it is titanium. I have a little tiny flashlight. Again, you know, if I, if I need to see in my bag, it's not bright, but it makes it to where I can see easily into my bag to get what I need to get. Um, you know, and then there's tons of other tools. I got a little tiny blade right here. Um, it is a titanium uh, keychain, and this actually is a really cool keychain itself. You can throw this in your pocket and then carry the keys down so they, they dangle instead of sitting at the bottom of your pocket. It makes it to where they're not gonna poke you and things like that. A little tape measure. Um, we got a whistle. We got a, um, a, oh, here we go. Like I said, always carry a lighter. <laughs> I need to refill it again. Um, I just checked it before we started. I just got to refill it. Um, um, yeah, but anyways, oh, toothpicks. I always carry toothpicks. Toothpicks are really good to have. A little bit driver, really good to have. Um, tritium, you know, it's just a little glow, glow fob. But it's, oh yeah, and some screwdrivers. I got some Phillips, a Phillips and a flathead. But this just dangles in here. And, you know, it, it stays out of the way because I just dangle it from right there. Now, I always carry a pack of cigarettes. Now, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, but I think everybody should care, especially if you're in urban environments, but it doesn't even have to be urban environments. I think it's good to carry a pack of cigarettes. This is a, a this is gold in certain situations. This can help you relate to somebody, um, whether you smoke or not. You could smoke or you can just hand them a cigarette. Oh, it can be a bargaining chip. It, it can get you directions. Um, you know, the, the, it can it can get you out of sticky situations or or make a, a, an uncomfortable situation more comfortable. Um, they're, they're like I said, you can use it as a bargaining chip. You know, and give the whole pack to somebody. You know, for something, um, whether it's information or or whatever. But it, it's super important. I highly recommend everybody carry a lighter and a pack of cigarettes. Now, inside the pouch, you know, like I said, I'll carry my fragrances and stuff. Another thing that I think is cool to have is like just your, like your gear that you already have, right? So like 
This is just a little pouch. Now I can fill this with all kinds of stuff and then put it into one of my bags. Uh, you know, there's tons of things like this you could use and you can just toss it right in. Same thing with these little uh, key bar boxes. These are all 100% USA made and they're actually really cool, man. You can get all these little tools in a, you know, a compact little system. This is all titanium and it makes it to where you have your keychains and you have all different kinds of little tools and stuff you could put on there. So it's basically like um, a USA made multi-tool with your keys all in one. And then after you do that, this is a cool little uh, pry bar, ain't it? Bottle opener slash pry bar, I, I dig it. Um, anyways, after you do that and you put it all together and you have your key bar with your keys and everything, you can take this can and use it for a storage for something. It doesn't have to be for this, it could be for whatever, you know, maybe a medical kit or, you know, whatever, something, you know? So these are really cool to have to, to just toss in your bags. Um, like I said, the Ravi Von lights are really, really good. They're small, compact, super bright. Um, I have tons of those. This one is not that. Um, I forget what company this is. Oh, this is Dapper. This is Dapper. Um, I got a little pack of toothpicks right here. I always carry toothpicks. You know, to toothpicks, in my opinion, are essential. You know, I hate getting stuff stuck in my teeth. Now, every single thing on here can easily be removed. That's one cool thing. You know, like there's, some of them are just clipped on. You know, some of them are, you know, where you have to, you know, undo the keychain or whatever, but but it's really easy to get the majority of the stuff off of here. Now, another thing, um, this is to my, my gym bag and I keep a lock, you know, and, and a little pick a cord. Um, now that's one thing I don't have in these that I will be um, putting in here is like some 550 paracord, but this is just, you know, for my gym locker. Um, this is a little bit driver, titanium bit driver. Um, really cool, you know, it's a little knuck too, uh, but you could also use it as a bottle opener, you know, a little mini pry bar and, you know, a little bit driver. Um, I always carry knife wipes just about in everything. Now, as far as this bag, you know, like I said, it's really cool, you can get to everything in the front. Um, and then, you know, inside it does have pouches on both sides and then it has a back pouch back here. Um, we actually have a, a um, a pry bar, a Vero pry bar and bit driver, and this little container where I can also store other little things and little essentials in as well. So um, I think I have um, something else back there. No, no, it's right here. Uh, I got a little electric lighter. So this one, if I got my battery pack and everything with me, I can just charge it. So I don't have to worry about uh, it running out of juice or anything. So that is a really cool thing to have, and they last a pretty long time. Um, but as far as the Viper Aid gear, you know, in their pouches and everything, this is a nice little sling bag. So this is something that I personally would carry on the go. If I don't want to carry my big backpack, I could just grab this and then grab one of these pouches or two of them, throw it in here, and then maybe, you know, an extra pair of socks or whatever the, ascent, the thing I'm going to need for that day. You know, maybe a water bottle or, or, you know, maybe a snack. Who knows? Whatever, you know, just depends on what I'm doing for that day or where I'm going. Like I said, this isn't, you know, a survivor pack or survival pack or, you know, or a bug out bag or anything like that. That's not what this is. This is just EDC, you know, when, you, when you're out and about, out and around, you know, going and doing your daily stuff, you know, your, your bug out bag or whatever should be a separate thing. Um, you know, I'm not saying don't have that. I'm saying definitely have that. Definitely have, you know, a pack for everything. Like I said, have a different pouch or pack for different things things, you know, and then, you know, you could have a compact one and then also a big one that maybe you might swap things back and forth to. But when you do, it's all in one little pouch. You don't have to worry about grabbing little individual items and nitpicking in there and trying to figure out, you know, what to put here, what to get. You just grab something and throw it in there. So this one actually has so these pull out and you can wear it on your chest or on your back, you know, like a backpack. These are just tucked in there. They pull all the way out, which is really cool. Or you can hang it from something or whatever. It also has a thing back here where you can, you know, tuck something else in there. I just don't have anything in there right now, but you know, I probably will. Um, this one does come with the strap that, so, you know, you can kind of carry it like on your hip or something like that. Um, I probably won't use it for that, but you know, it is cool that it has that. And then I will probably, um, 
you know, use it for something else, you know, I don't know, you know, to tie something off or something. Now, as far as this backpack, it has the little, you know, um, what are they called, mollies or whatever, where you can hang stuff, I forget what those are called. Then, you know, it has the straps back here too, where you can hang, you know, different things. Um, you know, it's pretty well made. You know, the fabric feels like it's gonna, you know, last for a decent amount of time. Um, you know, these are pretty affordable. So, you know, considering the price, you know, the, I think these things are pretty well done, you know, and they feel pretty durable to last through, you know, things that you would probably throw, you know, them at. Really cool gear. And like I said, these are really good quality, um, especially for the price, you know, they're not high, high priced. I forgot to show you guys the back of that. <laughs> um, I keep a little notepad back there. I'm sure I missed a bunch of stuff, but I think I got, you know, the basics out and the idea of what I was trying to say, you know, keep things individualized, keep each pack specific. So that means you know that pack as that thing. That way, anytime you think of, um, where's the tweezers at, right? I need a pair of tweezers. Well, they're gonna be in the medical kit, right? Um, you know, and if you ever need a flashlight, you pretty much got one everywhere. If you ever need a blade, you got that everywhere. But like for specific things, you know, you have your, you know, your specifics. Now, like I said, in a big, pack, you can carry much larger items. Like I said, my big backpack, my electronics pouch is huge, but I carry a lot in there. And I can't tell you how many times that has saved me or somebody else, or I've helped somebody else because their stuff died and it's emergency or whatever, you know, and because I have the multi-cord, I can charge it. Uh, anyways, there you guys go. Like I said, everything's linked down in the description and check out Viper Aid 15% off until the 27th. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.